Welcome back to Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. I'm David the Good. This week, we're going to talk about machete safety. But before I do that, I'd like to read a comment from the hummingbird video I posted recently. Dee's Nuts writes, I'm guessing he's a pecan farmer. Seems to me you people don't care about the truth. How unfortunate. I'm now going to unsubscribe. Oh well. Well. Bye. He's upset because of four little words. God is pretty cool, I said in the video. That's it. It wasn't like I said, Foul pagan, thou must believe or die. Now let's talk about machete safety. This is my hand. After a machete attack, took two of my tendons. Across the back of this finger, I nailed myself with a machete in a freak accident. When things that are very sharp intersect with human flesh at a high rate of speed, damage occurs. Here's what happened. You see the hook on the back of this cane machete? I love this thing for gathering brush and for pulling branches down and picking fruit and all kinds of stuff. However, this hook is the reason I severed two tendons in my index finger. How? I was wearing my straw hat. I decided to cut a coconut. As I brought the machete down, the hook caught the corner of my hat, directed the machete six inches closer in, and went right across the back of my hand, opening it up like a lady's purse. It was a very exciting time and a very exciting hospital trip. We were in the middle of filming a video when it happened, but the camera was off. We were in between scenes and I decided to open a coconut. So, since we have no footage of the actual injury, Rachel has graciously agreed to reenact it for us. For the sake of safety, this fake machete is going to be used for the demonstration. I think I'll quit working on this bean trellis and open a coconut. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. That wasn't the way it went. It wasn't like that at all. I was, I was watching. You don't know what you looked like. All right, come on. I'm going to tell you. No. That's not exactly No, you've got to do it again. You th that's exactly what you did. Do it again? Yeah, yeah. I think I'll take a break from this bean trellis to open a coconut. Oh. Hmm. Honey, I think I cut my hand off. Would you get me some masking tape? That was better. That was better. Well, uh, Put your hand's still on. It doesn't look real. Well, Wait a second. Oh, oh, I know what we can do. do yeah. We need, we need to... I'm not cutting my hand off. No, you're yeah. right. This time we got to make it much more dramatic and gory. Because it was really dramatic and gory. Like when the music was playing and stuff, when I cut myself, remember? And then everything kind of faded out and sort of went dark. And... You mean like when it was really scary? Right. Yeah, it was really scary. Let's make it really scary. I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> the following reenactment may be too intense for young viewers or people who hate ketchup. I think I'll take a break from these here beans and cut open a coconut.
And that is exactly how it really happened. Now, it's time to talk machete safety and how you can avoid accidents with machetes. Don't wear open-toed shoes when using a machete. Don't butter bagels with a machete. Don't use a machete when you're tired. Don't whistle with a machete. Don't stop in the middle of creating a bean trellis to use your machete. Don't go swimming with a machete. Do not juggle machetes. Don't comb your hair with a machete. Do not attempt to open canned beans with a machete. Don't stir soup with a machete. Do not get on a boat with a goat or on a train in the rain with a machete or pain. Don't tie your shoes with a machete. Do not attempt to swallow a machete. Don't brush your teeth with a machete. Do not play hockey with a machete. Don't cut down bananas with a... Wait a minute. Is that one okay? Yeah, that's, that's all right. Oh. Do not have a hook on your machete when you're wearing a straw hat. Thanks for joining us today on Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. I hope you found it informative and very helpful. So what's the prognosis on this thing? Well, I severed both tendons in the back of my index finger and they stitched it back together and I'm being told that I should be wearing a cast for six to eight weeks. And we'll get the stitches taken out. We'll see what happens. I may or may not get mobility back in this finger. So I'm not gonna be able to play guitar at the end of these videos for a while. However, I can still do gangster rap. Be sure to like, subscribe, find me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com, and until next time, keep growing. <laughs>